used to get sad when you get under my skin But I guess I kinda grew out of dancing around it Closed my door so you can't get in Doing better than I've ever been Hi, I'm Brandi Lifeso and I'm the CEO and founder of EVO Beauty Group we focus on making products that are accessible to everybody and cultivate a community that's fueled by kindness. I think if you were to ask anybody, they'd say like, Evio makes makeup, but there's so much more than makeup. I think that that really comes from the story of where we came from. When I was 21 years old, I was living in a woman's shelter. So starting in the shelter, teaching myself how to use Photoshop on YouTube, Photoshopping an entire fake catalog of make-believe products and this make-believe brand, and then shopping that brand around to local boutiques and making enough human connections with people that they were willing to take a risk and purchase the product that didn't exist. From there, I was able to actually get the product to the shelves and get back on my feet. We now work with more than 27 shelters across Canada to continue to give back. These are the kind of people that I want leading the future because they understand empathy, they understand kindness, and really that's just what our world needs more of, especially in business. There's so much more than just the transaction now in retail. It really falls down to that connection with consumers is really where retail thrives. E-commerce has become so much more accessible. It is easy to set up a shop. It is hard to make that shop successful. And so retail really now is focused on the community. It's really focused on how do you connect with the consumer to continue to give them new experiences so that you can stand out from the huge landscape that is retail. In independent retail, you can cater to that in a way that's really authentic. Our entire mission is to break stigmas. And so by definition, we are doing things different than a lot of other people in the beauty space. I would have never guessed that we would have this opportunity to be able to reflect on just how much stigma we're able to break. And that is truly the only reason why I'm an entrepreneur. And so receiving this award and that acknowledgement, like I can check that off my bucket list. EBO checks all my boxes. They're cruelty-free, vegan, and they use clean ingredients. It's also owned by a woman, which is also really cool. I love to promote that as well. I'm a longtime customer of EVO, and um, I've been following along the brand journey since the beginning. They're all about um, fueled by kindness, creating a conscious future, and really being inclusive, which I love. And I think it's really rare to find a brand like EVO just because everything they do is so intentional, and it's really amazing just to be a part of it. The pandemic has definitely had its challenges. However, everybody had a new layer of understanding. I think that most consumers now are so much more aware of the challenges of independent businesses than they were prior to COVID. So it just got an opportunity for us to get even closer to our consumers. Evio and the and Brandy and the entire team, congratulations. I'm so excited to see what else they have in store for the future. I love it off.